Kill the enemy team to score. What is going on guys, Dark King here, bringing you some Halo 2 Anniversary, and this is actually from the Halo Championship Series playlist with ranks, so this is one of the first matches that I got into, and it was actually really fun. I had uh, my mic in, and my mic was actually working, so my teammates were actually able to listen to my callouts and stuff like that, so I got a pretty good score. I was really happy with this gameplay, I had a really fun time actually, um, but yeah, now that the ranks are in, um, I've been having a pretty fun time. Uh, although there's been a few uh, kinks here and there, and uh, hopefully those get fixed up pretty quickly. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys today about Hunt the Truth, or uh, if you would like to call it hashtag Hunt the Truth. And uh, I'm pretty much going to be explaining what it is for those that don't know. And for those that don't know, Hunt the Truth is 343 Industries and Microsoft's ARG, or also defined as the alternate reality game and it's kind of like a marketing for Halo 5 Guardians and and what they're doing is they're actually having a weekly podcast following a journalist and war excuse me war photographer by the name of Benjamin Jero and uh, if you guys don't really know what is going on or how long it's been going on for it's been going on for I believe about two months now it's been it's been it's been a good while and um they release a new episode every sunday uh, i believe it is around uh late afternoon uh pacific time and uh, they post that on uh, and it's just an audio podcast and i post it on i believe it's soundcloud but they also have it linked to a, a tumblr page that you guys can check out so i will definitely be linking you linking you guys to that to check out on your own when you guys have the time but it's really cool it's actually um uh, really awesome, um, but to give you pretty much a background of what these characters are and why you should really care is uh, Benjamin Jero is actually a hired uh, journalist uh, to do with a origin story on the Master Chief and uh, Within the Halo universe Master Chief is a modern-day superhero So, you know as you have played the Halos uh, you have pretty much become a galactic superhero You've saved the galaxy more than once and because of those reasons, you're pretty much looked upon, and you're kind of like this hero to a lot of different people. Um, but uh, as you quickly find out, there is a lot of uh, mischief going on, and that's the whole reason why the title is hashtag Hunt the Truth. Uh, but to give a little bit more, excuse me, to give a little bit more background on Benjamin Jero, Ben is actually the journalist found in New Mombasa during the events of Halo 2. And during the podcast, they also give out uh, a few pictures that are posted uh, very often on the Tumblr page. You guys can check some of those out. Uh, and you quickly find out that the Halo 2 cover art for the game was actually Benjamin Jero. And uh, he's the one who was actually the person who took the picture of the Master Chief. And you come to find out that the cover title is actually War Propaganda and it has been heavily photoshopped in our sense, in our term I guess, uh, it has been heavily photoshopped to make it look like he, uh, Master Chief is a really cool and awesome person, so uh, it's used as propaganda to pretty much give people hope and stuff like that, that kind of those reasons. Uh, but uh, it's really cool, it's really awesome to see that um, 343 is doing really hard marketing on Halo 5, and honestly this is actually really awesome. I'm actually really enjoying it. I look forward to every single episode that they put out, and it's uh, very interesting uh, the way they do it. Um, but I also wanted to point out that uh, one of the biggest deals for me is that the voice actor for Benjamin Jero is actually Keegan Michael Key. And for those who do not know, Michael Keegan, is, or excuse me, Michael Key is a voice actor as well as uh, a comedian. He's the comedian and you can find him on shows like Key and Peele on Comedy Central and he's that's actually one of his breakout roles uh, is that TV in that TV show and it's actually really awesome to see him do voice acting and to see him do it well because it's actually not just like throwing famous people out here to do whatever they want just so that they can get big names out there and uh, it's actually really awesome to see and to hear and it's actually really awesome that uh, it's not just him, but they also have guest stars, voice act. Um, it recently, I believe it was in, uh, not this past week, but the week before that, they had a, a guest star of Kumail Nanjiani, and he's actually a comedian as well. Um, if you guys don't are not familiar with him, he's also in the show Silicon Valley uh, on HBO, and actually, actually a really good show. 
And um, all these voice actors are really awesome. You can also find uh, Steven Bloom is in it. Uh, he's the voice actor for Spike Spiegel and Cowboy Bebop, and he's also done a lot of voice acting for games over the years. Uh, most recently, he's actually done some voiceover for Mortal Kombat X, as well as Tara Strong is in this. And for those who do, do not know, she has uh, recently done some voice acting for the new up-and-coming Batman game, Batman Arkham Knight. And she was also the voice of Timmy Turner in the, uh, excuse me, the cartoon The Fairly Odd Parents. And it's actually, uh, like I said, Really awesome to see all these actors come in and do all this work for Halo because um, to see them do uh, their work and to see them do it well uh, within other spectrums and then to come into uh, video games and even straight into marketing uh, of this ARG is really awesome. Um, but uh, the podcast is following this type of uh, documentary slash diary and I believe it they, they coined the term docu diary and um, the best way to explain it is it is very personal I guess I should say because it's not just like somebody comes on and tells you all this information it's also like uh, giving you a little bit of in-depth of what the investigative feeling of all these different types of uh, characters are like when you come in and uh, Benjamin Jero is talking to a different character Ben is also explaining and giving descriptive language of what's around him and also what type of question he's in what type of tone he's taking as well as having the characters kind of voice over in the background so it's actually really awesome uh, I think you guys should definitely check that out and that's pretty much just a quick rundown of what hunt the truth is but anyways that's pretty much it for me for today I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time Peace. Next kill wins.